I'm Virginia, founder and CEO of Beta Hatch. And this is our new tech. We are industrializing insect production for farming. I've got a PhD in entomology and my whole life I've been passionate about insects. So you can call me the bug lady. This is the problem that keeps me up at night. The problem is that we need to grow more food. Uh, this is a big problem, like climate change. It's hard to understand and conceptualize. But we need to grow 70% more food than we do today in order to sustain our human population. The challenge is we can't do that just by farming more. We're running out of arable land. So to meet this huge need for food, we need to be finding new solutions and having new paradigm shifts in how we produce food so that we can be more efficient. Agriculture needs new paradigms, and I know that part of the solution is farming more bugs. Consider the, the turkey a staple of the American Thanksgiving dinner. Now, have you ever stopped to think about where this turkey comes from and what this turkey was eating when it was growing? What is the food that our food eats? Animal feed is an enormous market. It's something most of us never think about, and yet we probably should, because this market, this $400 billion industry, is larger even than the mobile phone device industry a huge market opportunity that's really starving for innovation. And the reason is because today, about a third of the crops that we are growing go to feed animals. Half the cost of producing meat is the cost of feed. And one of the biggest problems is about 60% of the feed we do grow is contaminated. Harmful contaminants like mycotoxins, which are left behind by bacteria and fungus, uh, are actually carcinogenic, and these end up in our food system. On top of that, we have a huge rise in antibiotic resistance, and so farmers need new tools. Bugs are one of these tools. At Beta Hatch, we farm insects, and these allow us to grow not only more protein, but better proteins. Specifically, we are farming mealworms. These are a type of darkling beetle, so they go through a full transformation, just like a butterfly does. The adults are the beetles, and the mealworm is the larva. And we are farming mealworms because they are a super bug. They can be grown continuously indoors, year round, unlike soy or these other feeds that have one or maybe two seasons a year. We have 52 harvests right now at our farm, so I've actually had more harvests in one year than the average farmer has in their entire lifetime. We can grow them anywhere. We're doing this right now in a converted office space down in SeaTac. Um, and you can produce them completely dry. So they are a complete protein, about 60% protein, 30% 30, 30 fat when they're dried. Uh, and we can grow that using no additional water. On top of this, mealworms are an incredible biodegrader of all kinds of things. They can actually take those mycotoxin contaminated feeds, eat them, and they don't accumulate those toxins in their bodies, which means that we can get those nutrients and calories back into the food system faster. They also can eat inorganic waste. Believe it or not, insects can eat plastic. The only known way to biodegrade styrofoam is in the gut of a mealworm. And they have a natural prebiotic function in birds. So if you think about what that turkey was eating, if it had its choice, it would be eating bugs. And these prebiotic functions in birds and in fish reduce the need for antibiotics in our farming systems. So I want to share a little picture of the farm, but it's top secret. So I've shown instead uh, a picture of a server farm, which is actually very close to what our farm looks like. We can stack vertically at incredibly high density. Uh, the environment is very well controlled. It's extremely clean. You might ask, why are we not farming bugs today? And it's because it's actually quite hard. So all of the technology that we have been developing is around uh, innovation that enables scale. So we're able to produce tons and tons and tons of bugs, which has never been done before. So today, this is where we are operating out of our farm in SeaTac. It's a converted office space. We harvest about a million eggs a week. You can see that second picture, a pitcher full. That's what a million beetle eggs looks like. Uh, next year, we'll be expanding to a warehouse scale farm, forklift compatible, able to start generating the volumes that can deliver into these bulk agricultural markets. And in the future, insects will be a part of waste management around the world. 
reducing harmful runoff from chemical fertilizers, and improving the supply chain for naturally grown meats. So I want to end with a little call out to some other really important insects in our history. Consider the honeybee. A third of all of our food requires pollination. Think a little bit about the silkworm. Entire civilizations were crafted by the products from this bug. And now consider the mealworm, the next frontier of the insect industry. Because today, every day, three times a day, you all need a farmer. And in the very near future, every day, three times a day, you're gonna need a bug. Thank you. What's my favorite bug? My favorite bug are ants. Um, I love social insects. I did my PhD on ants and how they communicate with each other using chemicals. Um, they have all the pillars of human civilization. They farm, they have livestock, they have warfare, they even have slavery. Um, all kinds of behaviors, ants, ants do them. Uh, ants are my favorite bug. That is a great question. The question was, uh, we can only biodegrade styrofoam right now in the gut of a mealworm. Is there a way to do that in a lab? We actually have funding from the NSF to explore that question. Um, they digest those plastics uh, with the help of microbes. And so we're trying to understand which microbes are involved and what pathways are involved so that we can scale it up in a uh, bioreactor that's not dependent on the insect. At the very back. Um, so the question was about uh, salmon and some of the genetic consequences of the salmon industry. Um, the insect uh, industry, we're not, um, you know, at a point where we threaten any sort of natural uh, populations of these bugs. Mealworms are actually, uh, they're called mealworms because they've been living in our grain silos, in our stored grains for millennia. Um, we found them actually in pots in ancient Egypt. Um, but we are working with salmon producers right now. We actually just did a, a test. Mealworms performed as well as commercial feed uh, in a feed trial using salmon. So we are hoping to be making some impacts in that industry to make it more sustainable. Thank you.